In this particular class, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize a proper blog post or how to properly optimize your blog post to be able to rank on search engine. Remember that in the last class, I showed you how to do SEO keyword research. So having found those keywords that you know people are looking for on Google and rating a quality article on, on them, here is how to now post that article on your blog in order to be able to you know, attract viewership or rank higher search engine. So, when you log into your blog, in this way you are going to go to the admin, you know, log into the admin account and then you will be allowed to enter the dashboard this way. Then once you are in the dashboard, the next thing for you to do is to click on the plus button here which is for post and then it will land you on this um, page where you have to make your post. Now I have already asked my writers to write an article and they have written and sent it to me. Here is the article so I am just going to copy it. Okay, I think I, I need to change something here. I want this to not just be in caps lock all of them because, because this is going to be the title of the post, so it's not good if it's going to be caps lock all of them in the post. So let me just copy this and proceed. Okay, so this is the article you want to post, and I'm just going to paste it in there. Okay, in your post now. So you copy the title and put it where it should be, which is here. Now, um, one thing people don't know is that adding a year to your blog post will help you to rank on search engines. People don't know about that. But when it comes to the URL, don't put the number in the URL. You can delete the number here in the URL. So just let it be best Asian countries to work in the URL for instance. But in the post title, let the, let the number feature. The reason is because every year you may have to be editing this same post. And if you are having 2022 a year, it will not be popular. one. So just let it be this way. And then in the title, here you can have the year here and be helping to change it. Having the year helps improve your SEO. So um, yeah, once you are done with that, make sure that um, that keyword finds a way to appear in the first paragraph, if you look at this post now that my writer sent to me, the, this keyword, best Asian countries to work, didn't appear anywhere in this first paragraph or in the second paragraph. So I'm going to edit this place now and um, write and find a way to attach that keyword in either the first or second paragraph. But let me put it in the first paragraph now. Um, watch how I do this. Okay. Now, for you, you may not use the exact words that I use here, you can change it to something else, but ensure that your keywords here, which is the keyword you have in your title, this is the keyword in this article here. Um, this is the keyword in this article here. So ensure that this keyword find a way to appear in your post. Now, I have made it best Asian keywords, that's best Asian countries to work in, so that's a long term keyword. So, um, and you see here that that keyword also appeared here. So find a way to feature in your keyword in either the first or second paragraph. That is this one and this one. In one of them. It mustn't appear in the two, just one of them. Now that is the SEO rule number one. After your title, put in your keywords in the first or second paragraph. It tells search engines what this article is all about without them having to read the whole content to find out. So just put that keyword somewhere in your first or your second paragraph. Then the next thing you want to pay attention to, aside from the listing, is the article format. You can see that I'm removing some empty paragraphs that shouldn't be there. Okay, I'm 
removing them and allowing it to just be one paragraph. One, one paragraph space between them. Now, I'm using Grammarly to correct these uh, writings here. So you can just um, choose Grammarly, just download Grammarly uh, extension in your browser and use it to check your grammars and when you need to edit things, you edit it. Now, you can see again that um, this keyword here, that's another phrase, another way to you know, feature that same keyword here. Okay, safest countries in Asia. Presently, let me add Grammarly. So I'll just highlight this and come to this place. Now, this is a heading and I want to tell Google that it's a heading. But it's not just okay to make it, to leave it bold like this. Of course, if you leave it bold like this, Google will still know that it is a heading, but it won't give you much um, ranking. So what you need to do is highlight it and come over to this place where you have paragraph. Click on it and make it heading two. Now, a proper article must have heading one, heading two, heading three, and the rest of them. Now, heading one here is your title. The title is always heading one, so you don't need to choose heading one anywhere again in this article. You don't need to choose heading one anywhere again in this article because by default, your title is your heading one. But after your title, you also have subtitles in the main post. And to tell Google that this is a subheading or a, a primary subheading in this post, you have to select it as heading two. That is, highlight it and then go over here, select it as heading two. Now, if you have other subjects under it or other topics under it, you can make those ones heading um, three. For instance, this one now, I can just highlight it and make it heading three because, yeah, it's a list of something under the primary one. Like, I'm trying to um, tell Google that this is uh, one of the safest countries in. Asia right now. Now I'm changing these numbers to where to bullets. It doesn't mean anything, but the reason I'm changing it is to make it easier for um, the table plugin that I'm using to pick it. Okay, to arrange it from the front page. Okay, so yeah, I choose I, I changed this this heading here to heading three because it's still under heading two. So anything you are having or anything you are writing that is under a particular heading. You must go to the, ne the nearest heading under it, which is, um, let's say, heading. for instance, now having got our heading one, okay, and safest countries in Asia presently is under that heading one, so I made it a heading two. Now, when I want to list the countries, because they are also under the safest countries in Asia, I have to make them heading three. I have to make them heading three. Now, I can also choose to make them heading four or anything but i need this article to be properly arranged so that it will rank very high on a search engine now aside from this okay you also notice that i'm removing the empty spaces there which will give me um, which will make this article to look quite nice for anybody reading it now once i'm done with that you can see another keyword here best asian countries to work in 2022 so I'm going to click on this place and make it heading two. Now you may say, why not make it heading four? The reason I will not make it heading four is because it is also a subheading, just like the first one. So I'm just going to make it heading two. Okay, it's a subheading just like the first one, but it also have other headings under it. So I'm going to make those ones under it um, heading three. Now I'm going to make this ones heading three, just like I made uh, those other ones under the first. Subheading. So this is going to be heading three here, and then um, I'm using Grammarly to correct some of these things. Okay, though it doesn't even need much correcting. Some of them are just English, from American, and uh, what is called American and um, UK English. Okay, so yeah, I will come over here again, do the same thing. Let's change this. Sorry, I'm not highlighted. Change this to heading three. Now, if I have, let's say, a micro country under Japan for those who will be writing different topics, and you have another smaller thing under under um, a particular subheading or a particular heading three, all you need to do is make that next one heading four. 
Do you get? I'm going to keep on going this way until I've properly arranged the post to look exactly the way I want it to. Now, if you are going to write a blog post or make a post on your site, you need to follow the same process that I have followed to arrange your own post. Now, the, when you come to the conclusion, that is another subheading, so you make it heading two. Also, you can, if you have final words here or in some whatever you have here, just still make it that heading two. It tells Google that, oh yeah, this is another subheading of its own. Now, Again, let's go back. The first rule here, I said, is to put your keywords in either the first paragraph or the second paragraph. Then after that, ensure that your um, subheadings and uh, the ones under them are properly arranged using heading 2 or heading 3 or heading 4 or heading 5 or heading 6. The more subheadings you have under a particular one, uh, okay, the lower you should go in terms of your sub in terms of your heading um, tags here okay so once you are done with that um, you need to also pay attention to the appearance of the keyword now that keyword need to appear in a 1000 word article at least five times or ten times in a 1000 word article now this article is 1000 words can you see that so i'm going to make sure that that keyword will appear somewhere in this article like for instance in the in the in the introduction which is the first or second paragraph and then somewhere in the subheadings it's going to appear somewhere in the subheadings can you see it in this subheading it's showing here um, best countries to work in 2022 that is that subheading has appeared i mean that um, keywords has appeared in our subheading over here so this is how you arrange it. Then aside from having this keyword appear somewhere in the headings, it needs to also appear in the body of the article. That means while you are writing your article, find a way to still insert those keywords in the body of the article, at least one or twice, or in one place or in two places or in three places, find a way to insert it. Then another very important place that that keyword needs to appear if it's going to rank on search engine is on your conclusion now when you come to this conclusion you find a way to insert it you find a way to to insert it for instance i discovered here that my writer didn't add that keyword so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put here and said um okay so as a result of some precious tweets okay 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 so i'm just going to now add something here let me add Okay, can you see what I did here? I just did a small editing. I just added, did you find this article on the best Asian countries to work in 2022 very helpful? Let us know in the comment section. So somehow, I've added this same keyword in the article, letting Google robots know that this article is still all about that um, Asian countries, best Asian countries to work in 2022. Now, another important place that that keyword needs to feature is in your featured image. In your image that is the image of the article that um, people will be seeing when they want to click on the article so let's upload an image showing Asian countries and once we are done uploading that image I'll show you where to put your keyword now um, the image is uploading yes it has uploaded I got this image for free from Pisa so you can also download yours from there if you are writing now it's important to use a free image like the one I'm using here from Pisa B. It's very important you use it. The reason it's important you go for such um, free images is so that you will not have issues with copyright tomorrow. Okay, I discovered the image is big, so I'm just editing it so that it won't be too big. The size won't, be, won't bog down the site. Okay, so 
yeah now this is the, in this alt test this is where your keyword also needs to show up your keyword needs to show up in this place your keyword needs to show up in this place now you can copy your keyword from your post and come here and add it if, even if your keyword doesn't show in the title it should show in the alternate test here but it should show in the title and in the alternate test these are two places your keyword must show if this article will rank very high these are two places your keyword must show so once you are done putting the keywords here and here click set featured image and the image will appear here now always use an image that is relevant to what you are writing because i'm writing um, about asian countries to work in 2022 that's the reason why i'm using the map of asia okay to do this this map i got it from free from pizza Bay. so you can then go to select your categories over here now this article is under work so i'm going to select my category work i've already created this category for a new blogger you need to create that category by clicking on add new category here and then you name your category and proceed now under tags you can leave your tags empty but if you don't want to leave it empty just still put something like that same keyword there best asian countries to work or something else or just call it asian countries anything like that then you click on add the tax is not really as important as other things that I mentioned there. You can skip them. So once you are sure that this article is properly set, just go ahead and hit the publish button. Let's publish it and see what it will look like on our platform. So I just click on publish and the article is being published. Congratulations, our article has been published. Let's click on view. Let's click on view and see it. Okay, so yeah, this is the article in our website or in our blog. On our blog, right? so this is it. This is the article. It's going to open. You can see. See how it's looking like. Okay. Sebastian countries in Asia recently. The Sebastian countries to work in 2022. And the rest of them. So yeah, that's basically how arrange that article now let's see how it looks like on the front page if you click on the whole page now to go and take a look at it you will discover that yeah it's showing very nice and very well over here so even without um going through the article just by seeing the title and the headings you've already uh, sorry i'm the, the introduction here you've already known that this article is about best asian countries to work interested in working in asia there is a list of the best Asian countries to work in 2022. Now, this article now can be used for um, arbitrage or anything at all that you want to use it for. And it will make your money at the end of the day. So, yeah, that's how to properly optimize a blog post for search engines. Thank you. Now, if you have not subscribed to our channel, quickly go over to YouTube, search for TreeSpark Digital Technologies. You see this logo, you see a TreeSpark name here. And then click on subscribe button and turn on the notification to always get notifications whenever we make a post or whenever we post a video that should help you if you're a new blogger or if you are um, a digital marketer whatever you are at all make sure you are following our youtube page it's going to help you a lot so i'll see you again in the next video thank you